I get excited around rough and tumble vans like these. You know what I mean? I do. I, I just It's got nothing to do with the fact that you're an easy man to get excited. I don't know. It's, but I do. I, I, it, it's the call of the wide open road. When you see something like this, that seriously, it, it's it, got to go anywhere you can. It's that is. sense of adventure, isn't it? It's oh. a sense of possibility. Where can I take this van? Oh, and we're talking uh, as off-road as you can possibly go. Well, that's, that's right, Tim. And JB, they warrant this van to go basically anywhere in Australia, they stand by their claim that this is a genuine off-roader. And it really, really is. From the suspension. Cruise Master XT suspension, if you want some off-road suspension, that's really a very, very good choice. Mm. And we're talking 390 litre tanks, water tanks, so you've got lots and lots of water. You've got uh, uh, solar panels all standard, so they're wanting you to go off the grid. And it looks as though they put a bit of thought into it too. Did you know, mate, they've even put a generator in the back or at least provision for a generator. Okay. You can't run everything, can you? Well, it's going to depend on the wattage of the, or the capacity of the generator. In this case, you'll fit, you know, a two kilowatt generator. Now, yep. that's, that's good to run your laptops, you know, you'll, you'll be able to boil your kettle, you'll be able to, you know, run your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Not all at the same time. So you've yep. got to be a little bit selective, of course. But mate, you want to cool your van down, you can do it. Some 21st century technology, which mm -hmm. I really like. Yep. You can control the audio with your iPhone nice. via Bluetooth. Mate, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I like the LED strip lights up there. You know, you've got the television so you can watch the AFL Grand Final when you're out in the middle of nowhere. How good's that? Oh, mate, it is great. And mate, big sized awning. It's mate, heaps of room out here. I love this van. JB. Mate, they build great stuff. This is a van that's showing some genuine growth too. Mm -hmm. um, they started four and a half to five years ago. Right. Um, you know, they were building one or two vans a week. Now they're building upwards of eight, nine, ten vans a week. So a company that's showing some genuine growth. And you know what? I reckon we can expect to see some pretty good things from these guys in the future. Oh, you bet. So, Laura. Do you have the urge to hit this caravan with a thong? I have the urge to take this caravan and hit the road, Tim. It's oh, fantastic. Isn't it great? This is, of course, the JB Scorpion, and it is so comfortable inside. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a really purposeful, well-built off-road rig, but on the inside, it is just pure class and luxury. It's gorgeous. Isn't it? And built really tough. Now, I'm going to try this. If, if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. Okay, it's okay. Right. Here we go. Now, they assure me that this is all right. Now, I'm a small thing, but... Oh, there it goes. How many pull-ups can you do? Well, I'll, I'll put my head through the cupboard, but... <laughs> but that is seriously taking my full weight and it is, it is fine. It is absolutely built so strong. That's very impressive. Isn't it? At least I wouldn't want to try that with too many caravans. As is your upper body strength. As, well, I know. And they've got this gizmo, which is so very cool. That's attached to outside. So you seal the van up, kick this off, leave it for a while, and it builds up a positive pressure inside the van, thus, keeping the dust out. It's a brilliant thing. It's a ripper idea. It's a really great idea, especially for a van, which is gonna go anywhere. This van can traverse Australia. There's probably no track it wouldn't make it down. So when you've got something like that, which will help keep the dust out and keep this beautiful interior nice and clean. But for you, Laura, what what do you think of the of, of the actual finish of all the cupboards? I think it's beautiful. I'm a big fan of the the new modern look caravans with a little bit less timber and a little bit more style. So these um, high gloss charcoal cabinets are just beautiful and they're really well set off by the white walls and the, the, the black upholstery and the white roof. It all really goes nicely together. Doesn't it? And they have a huge attention to detail and you were co commenting on that before. All of the cupboards, when you op open them, all line up. It's just a small thing, but it gives you an idea of how well built the caravan is overall. 